You have 20 wingless midget pegasuses, maybe it's pegasi, that you need to keep separate from one another, and they're going to be enclosed in the configuration shown below. You have 5,400 feet of pegasus fencing, bought a tractor supply, they have pegasus feed there. We're going to find the maximum total area that can be enclosed. Whoa, what in the world's going on here? There's a lot. So what you're going to do is take your 20 pegasuses, and you're going to put one in each of these little rectangular pins that measure X by Y. Every one of these is going to be X wide and Y high. X wide and Y high. X by Y. X by Y. So they are actually giving you two things, or else they're giving you one thing that you do know. We know how many feet of Pegasus fencing there is, so I'm just going to put fencing here. And then they're asking you about something, and the thing they're asking is the total area. So I'm going to put total area over here. So this is my strategy. I, look, I like to start with what they're asking me. And I'm going to be like, okay, well, what's the maximum total area? The total area. All right, total area of this thing. Total area would be, well, the area is, let's see, 4x multiplied by 5y. It's a rectangle, right? 4x times 5y. And that would be, well, 20xy, which makes sense. There's 20 of these little rectangles, and each one is x by y, right? That's great. I want to know that area that would give me that. I don't know what it is. Oh, well. I'm going to have to jump back to what I do know. I do know how many feet of Pegasus fencing there are. There's 5,040. Well, how is it split up? I'm glad you asked. How many X's do we have in this picture? Don't say four. It's more than four. How many, rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. How many X lengths do we have? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Not, I'm counting slowly because people always miss this. They're like 20 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 4 is 20. No, it's 24, and here's why. One line, two lines, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 4, that's 24 X's. Okay, let's figure out the Y's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 Y. Now, we have options here. It's fun. We're going to need to solve for a variable, and our options are we could solve for x or we could solve for y. Personal opinion, I just like to solve for y pretty much every time because it's just the most like standard go-to. That's what we're going to do. So let's solve it for y. Not that it's wrong to do it the other way, but it's going to get a little sloppy, actually. There we go. We have that. Now we're going to divide both sides by 25. So we're going to divide this by 25, and we're going to divide this by 25, and we're going to divide this by 25. We're going to cancel that. And so now we have y equals. So 50, 40 divided by 25. Let's find out what that is. That is 201.6 minus, and then 24 divided by 25, and that is 0 0.96x. Okay, that's great. What are we going to do with it? I'm glad you asked. I know what y is, right? This is starting kind of to look like a system of equations, kind of. We're going to take that y value and we're going to plug it over here. Substitution. 20 times x times y. Well, y is all this stuff. Now, if you're looking at this and you're saying, why don't we distribute? Why don't we distribute? I'm going to tell you why we don't distribute. I don't want to distribute. You can keep your distribution. I really don't want to. And, and here's why. It's not wrong. It's totally fine. And actually, in another context, it's going to be the most helpful thing to do. But what I'm going to do is graph it. Check this out. I'm going to graph exactly what I see here. Now, when I graph that, my input is going to be the x values, and my output is going to be the area, total area. I want to maximize the total area. So when I graph this, I'm looking for the highest output I can find. So let's graph it. So here goes. I'm going to slap this down. I know this may not be the best way to view it, but this is the best way I know to do it. It's going to do it on the screen, but you know. Y equals, I decided not to because there was a terrible glare. And we're going to subtract x. There we go. And we're going to graph this. And we just did. I said we're going to, and we already had. So there we go. There's our graph, and I'm looking for the maximum value. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, really good luck with that. It's going to be kind of hard to see. 
So I'm gonna slide around. Now what you'll do on yours is adjust your window accordingly. I probably need some higher Y values. Let's actually start with that. I'm gonna start with like 2000. Maybe I can see something a little better that way. And when I do, I can see that it does kind of curve. So I'm, I'm dealing with a situation where it curves over. Let's adjust it again. Let's go up to 20,000. Ah, there it is. There it, all right, I'm starting to, starting to see it. And let's adjust the X's. I can't see enough of them. X should go all the way to 30. It does. I still don't see enough. Let's go to 300. There we go. All right. Oh, you're seeing it now, right? Okay. There's a peak up here somewhere. Now, why am I looking for the peak? Find the maximum total area. Maximum area is going to be the output here. This is why we're optimizing. We're finding maximums or minimums, depending on the context. So I'm going to go to this point right up here that takes a while to get to, takes a while to get to, takes a while to, there it is. And I want to find out what it is. Let's tap on it and that's it. Okay, so 105, 105, what's 105? That's the X value. That's not what they asked. But 211, 680 is the output. That's what they wanted to know. Find the maximum total area that can be enclosed. 211, 680 what? Well, we're dealing with area, so it's gonna be square feet. And if you're looking back at these notes and you're like, where in the world did he get that? I have no idea. Well, I'm glad you asked, and just for a little bit of context, a little bit of context, I will graph it. And I'm doing this just so you'll say, oh, well, he graphed it, and that's, that's where he got that from. So it's this big quadratic that went up here, and we had to look, and it was the Y value right there. That was it.